Hello and welcome to the Chow Line. Today we're not going to be talking about anything that's particularly edible. Instead, we're going to be talking about something that's related to your weapons, specifically the cardboard inserts used to hold the ammunition in the bandoliers of the American servicemen, be him Army or Marine, that was fighting in the trenches in World War I. In front of you, we have two original World War I bandoliers, both on top and bottom, except the top bandolier is filled with the reproduction cardboard inserts, okay, that I've made based off of my originals that you can see down here. I have four of them, and the last two right here are a little bit worse for wear. I suppose that's what happens to cardboard after having been around for about 100 years in some particularly uh, musty cloth. But anyway, all the ammunition that was issued uh, in a bandolier would have been packed 10 rounds per uh, cardboard insert, okay? And there would have been the cardboard insert body, as you can see here, along with some dividers that was packed down inside the insert. All right, and these, as I said, are originals, and this is the reproduction up here. You can see the divider as well as the body. Now, I offer a do-it-yourself kit that essentially allows you to pop the bodies and the inserts out of a fiberboard cardstock and then assemble them yourself and put it inside either original bandoliers or some reproduction bandoliers. So how about I clear all this off the table and I show you the Chow Line World War I bandolier insert set. It comes with six of these inserts along with the appropriate uh, ammunition dividers and you get them in four cards. All right, you get two cards which hold the uh, cartridge spacers and then two cards which hold the actual bandolier insert bodies. All right, now we're just going to assemble one of these and this is essentially a how-to video on putting together this, uh, this particular kit. All right, so I'm going to take this one and take the other three and put them to the side. All right, so how this works here is all of these pieces are actually separated by perforations. So there really isn't too much cutting involved. The only cutting you're going to have to do is to cut these little black lines in order to set the spacers together and then cut these black lines here in order to uh, correctly assemble the bodies. All right, so what are you going to need to actually put this together? Well, you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a glue stick. But in all honesty, uh, I say use a glue gun, a hot glue gun. I use it for everything and it is much quicker and much easier to use. But don't burn yourself, all right? They're very hot. I feel like I have to say that. <laughs> okay, just a little public service announcement. Glue guns are hot. Anyway, all right, let's get putting one of these together. We're going to take the cartridge spacer set, put it to the side. We're going to first assemble the bodies, okay? You can see here that there's perforations, one here, one here, and then one that runs the entire length on the bottom here. All right, all you have to do to separate this, just bend it a couple of times, and it pops right off. We're only assembling one of these, so we're going to keep this one here for right now, put this to the side for later. Now take this bottom piece here and bend it so it easily separates, just like that. In fact, there you go. That's kind of a nice little display piece. Take this, cut it off, and boom, you've got yourself a little, uh, little nameplate thing there. <laughs> anyway, so here's what you need to do next. This area has been shaded out, okay? on either side, and it's printed with the words cut out. You can see that in full right here. So what are we going to do? We're going to cut it out. Take your scissors, one snip, two snips, flies right off, one snip, and then there's that one, okay? Take your scissors here and just make a single cut the length of this black line, this thick black line that I have the scissors on. There and there. Okay. Now there's actually these crease lines that run the entire length along with the width. These are where you're going to fold the pieces. So begin folding them. There you go.
Okay. And you have two more folds to make. One fold here. And one fold there. Okay. Great. So here's how it actually assembles. All right. These triangle pieces here line up with this right here. You're going to fold that so this whole thing goes inside like that. Kind of opens like a clam. See how that works? All right. We're going to put glue on this piece here. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot. Hot glue goes a long way. See that there's a little bit oozing out right there? You can actually just wipe it off. And you have a few seconds with a hot glue gun to reposition it. And after that, it's a very strong bond. It's very quick. Again. That's it. Okay, the body's done. That is it. All right, we're going to take that, set it to the side. Okay, now it is time for the cartridge spacers. We're going to do the same thing, okay? Fold, take this piece. We're going to use that right now. We're going to set this to the side, okay? So what we're working on is part one right now. All right. Let's remove all of these pieces. There's these tiny pieces at the top you're going to uh, take off, and you're going to want to remove these here as well. Okay. Take these seven to the side. Again, we're only making one insert right now. You have parts to make six in this kit. Okay. Take these, bend them, flex them a little bit. One, two, and then three and four. Okay? So here's the thing. Now what we need to do is we actually need to cut this entire little black line out. All right? You see this? The reason is that black line is the width of the actual fiberboard that's been used in the construction of these things. So when these are cut, you've got a nice little notch. You see that notch there? And that notch is actually going to fit down into this component on part two. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So take that, put it to the side. I'm going to do this three more times. If there's any little bits of cardboard still sitting there, feel free to just trim that up doesn't really make too big of a difference because if I show you this is an original piece and it was obviously made from a punch die and it is just filled with extra little pieces of cardboard hanging off. It was very poorly manufactured. The originals were thoroughly disposable and as you can see little bits of fuzz on the end here are is literally just like the original. Okay, so depending on how clean you want it, it's entirely up to you. But a little bit of extra cardboard hanging off is completely and totally um, authentic. And here's our final piece. And there we go. All right, we have all four of these spacer pieces. Now, Let's take a look at part two. So we'll take these and pull them off the perforations. Take that, remove it, remove that piece. And again, because we're only using, well, well, we're only making one of these inserts right now, all we need is one of these. So you can take the other two and set them to the side for later. And again, same with the part one pieces. Take your scissors, cut it. So you can open up that little slot for the uh, fiberboard to properly fit into. OK, 
Okay, very good. Now we're going to assemble these pieces and I'll show you what it looks like with full length uh, cartridges as well as blank ammunition, which I have a bit of blank ammunition here. And then I have the full length cartridges here. Okay? So just fit these pieces into the slots like that, like that, like that, and like that. All right. Now, I don't just go and shove it down into the bottom, although you can. What I like to do is fit it onto the ammunition first. And you can see right there it, <laughs> it fits really nice. Okay? And then just slide it right on it. And that's it. You're done. Not only is this versatile on the uh, field at reenactments or tactical events like out in Newville, Pennsylvania, but it makes a really good display piece. All right, so let's see how this looks when we pull out the uh, full-length cartridges here. There they are, sitting right in there. Now the cool thing is, because the inserts actually come with my reproduction, um, it keeps the blank ammunition from falling all the way down into the bottom here, which actually makes pulling the ammo out uh, much, much easier, significantly easier. In fact, it's, it's not actually a huge problem like it is when you just have your uh, bandolier without the insert in there, okay? And there we go. It's quick, it's easy, and in just a few minutes you can have an entire bandolier's worth of inserts assembled to correctly carry your blank ammunition or properly display full-length cartridges um, and if you're at an event where there's public around, hopefully those are uh, either deactivated cartridges or they're dummy rounds. All right, well, hey, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Sorry it didn't have anything to do with food, but to be honest, I was asked if I could reproduce these inserts for people, and hopefully this will fill the gap that's out there. Now, uh, if you're interested in, in, in acquiring some of these, and again, they're sold in sets of six, okay, uh, head on over to my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash the chow line to check on pricing and availability. And hopefully next time I'll be coming uh, at you with something that's edible. So until then, I'll see you in the chow line. Stay hungry.